So it happened to me two times in a row. <laughs> I day one. I'm talking to you guys in the hall as I'm about to leave school and go to the park to film. And then someone of <laughs> one of you guys is like, "Oh, so you you said something about an iPad?" And I just like stopped dead. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was so totally. angry because I planned my entire day around me going to this park, and then all of a sudden, nope, don't have the iPad, the thing I need to film for the review. <laughs> So then I go home, everything is fine the rest of the night, I just, I'll do it tomorrow after school. Well, now it's today. And I, especially before I leave the house in the morning, I make sure I've got my iPad and my camera, my tripod, everything's good to go. Even got my camera bag in case I need my bigger lens. Right. Unpack everything from the car, shut the engine off, get out, walk a little bit, turn on the camera, no card in camera. <laughs> no freaking card and camera yeah you like I, that sucks because you I, I was driving home and i saw that text i'm like oh no yeah I saw, I, you were like oh no i was, I was like so uh, he set everything you know, like he got there setting stuff up <sighs> what camera and then it's just not it good. was it was very aggravating at the least it was aggravating <laughs> <laughs> so yeah then i drove home went outside my hands are still ice cold for me outside it's like 40 or 50 degrees isn't it yeah i know i it, yeah like I, it's really weird i just it's like it's not like super cold out and i'm like just walking around outside and i'm like my gosh what hands stop freezing <laughs> what are these solid blocks of ice that used to be hands <laughs> but i know it's just cold outside and i guess that's what happened when winter comes yeah dang winter i hate the winter I don't know. I mean, I like it, but summer's good. I like winter because there's a chance that there's going to be a huge snow and we're going to be off school for a while. Well, uh, right, right, yeah. You know, I, I mean, I like winter in terms of what happens. You just don't I, like the cold. And I'm, I, I'm just, I just don't like the cold. <laughs> mm -hmm. Remember last year when we had like four days off in a row? Yeah, yeah, we had like four, four or five days off in a row. Those... Well, yeah, actually, I think it was from Saturday, Sunday... Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then we went back Friday. Yeah. That's crazy. I hope that happens again, though. Maybe it'll be Buffalo of St. Louis. Buffalo of St. Louis. Because you saw all this huge, like, th seven feet of snow they're getting, aren't didn't you? No, I haven't seen it. Oh, yeah, I think, I want to say it's Buffalo. It's somewhere around one of the Great Lakes. It's Buffalo something. But they are getting, like, six or seven feet of snow. Mm-hmm. Five inches an hour at one point. Wow, that's it's crazy. insane. Just a little side like, note. You get to walk outside and you get to dig through your snow. Yeah, I, I saw a picture on Twitter. Happening. It was like somebody's door and they opened it and there was just snow in front of the door and there was an imprint of the door in the snow outside. <laughs> it was awesome. Oh my but... gosh, I'd love to like... My dream as a kid was for that, was for that to happen. Yeah, and then, me too. Like snow tunnels. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, that would have been awesome. Those were the good days. Yep. <laughs> anyway, we're going to start talking about iOS now. <laughs> yeah, so iOS 8.1.1 came yeah. out? Mm -hmm. Yep. That came out, I, I guess, on Monday of this week, which would be, if I do some quick math, the 2019, 18, 16th, I believe. Let me double check okay. on that to make sure I'm using the right date. Okay. Calendar. Yeah, it was the... Boop, boop, oh, of course, it opens in the day view. And it's uh, it's seventeen. Sole job was to pass the jailbreak. Yeah, I mean they they did the whole BS of this is going to improve performance and bug fixes on iPad two and iPhone four s. Uh oh, I should try that on the mini and see if stuff gets fixed a little bit. Yeah, it I'm using same it, chip. I'm using it on my mom's mini because I updated her to iOS eight and Yosemite finally. Right. Um, but I don't know. I guess I don't use her iPad enough to tell if it's any better. Yeah. I just used it for a demo in that one video and then. I'll tell you, YouTube is not acting hot right now. That's for sure. And I thought it was just the app's fault, but like it'll go for four seconds and then it'll just drop down to like 240p and then I'll try to, uh, I just click 720p. I go to the quality and click 720p. I don't care if I'm going to break it. <laughs> I, I'm, not, I'm not dealing with it. I, oh, I'm, totally. I'm 720p. I don't. I, I don't care if I have to wait 20 minutes for that thing to load. You can crash or well. I mean, I'll, I'll Rick 
close it out and then re-click it and then do all that and it just wasn't it's just not working at all yeah totally it's so like and it, i don't have this problem with the app but that would drive me insane but just <laughs> today i saw i download blog put out an article and i just happened to go on youtube and i'm experiencing this issue where if i'm using safari i think it's eight on a mac i can not really play youtube videos for some reason on my computer it does this weird really? thing where this where the video goes black and it just doesn't play and this is a reported issue. Well, that like, was I'm, happening at, at one point to uh, everybody. Yeah, it's, that was happening to Chrome. Uh, I remember that. Yeah, it, it went away. It wasn't that big of a bother. You just refresh the video once. But that, yeah, that like a month ago. It's weird though that because was happening. Yeah. Even like even if you refresh, it doesn't reload. It just refuses to play any videos. I tried to play one of mine and it worked, and then the next one of mine. Just to try it out, I'm not just <laughs> going through all my videos watching them. But I mean, I was just doing that to test, and I it wouldn't play, which is very weird. Yeah, and, uh, I hope that gets fixed because it's kind of annoying. I had to go on Chrome to uh, to make the videos play. Just a little side note related to your your YouTube. Yeah, I, I mean, uh, it might have to do something with Flash. Um, I think I did see something about that in the article. I don't know. I I know Steve Jobs always hated Flash and that they. <laughs> They think on HTML5, which is, I mean, mm -hmm. what they decided to yeah. do. Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't really care. I just want my thing to work. Oh, I don't, I'm the exact I don't really, same way. I, like, I don't really care which one beats it, HTML5 or or Flash. Flash, dash, dash, mash, whatever like, gets the video to play. I, mean, I like Flash more because it generally works with more mm -hmm. stuff. Yeah, it's more cross-platform. Uh, right, and, and so, like, I, that's just always pissed me off how, like, it's, like, the the, the be best example of it is, like, the inter internet browser on really cheap smartphones from, like, three years ago. It's, like, uh, and, and and along with, like, so, like, it's, like, we have an internet web browser. Well, you really don't because <laughs> it doesn't do anything. Yeah, and, that's true. And, and, and that's so with true. the 360... It came out with uh, Internet Explorer. I'm mm -hmm. like, okay, I'm gonna. It's gonna take me two seconds to check if it, if this is good. Loaded yeah. up tube.com, didn't work. All right, I'm never using this. <laughs> and they can and, and they have it on the Xbox One too, and that I'm pretty sure it doesn't work. Also, of course, oh Probably my not. Xbox One just <laughs> thought I said Xbox One was TV. <laughs> oh my uh, gosh, Gotta but, love. but it's just like it, it, if this doesn't work, yeah. I'm not going to use it. There's don't no complain point. that I don't use it because it sucks and I'm never going to use it. And that's the bot that's just the bottom line. I don't know what to tell you. I mean, yeah, well, without a doubt YouTube's a necessity to work on any yeah, web it's, browser. Yeah, it's just I mean, ads use it too and I mean, mm -hmm. I hate Everything. ads, but I like I mean, it just it stuff needs to work. Oh, oh yeah. But I don't hate ads, but like it 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 makes me think that the internet browser is working better when they're there. And they're like functioning, they're functioning correctly, and they're not there. And then the website won't play. Yeah, it's <sighs> just it's it's a mess. Yeah. <laughs> I can't take it anymore. Yeah, but um, I don't even know where I got off on that tangent from. What were we talking um, about? Oh, we were talking about YouTube issues, and then how that didn't work on 360. Oh right, right, right. But anyway. So, like Jake said earlier, fortunately this closes the 8.1 jailbreak. <sighs> Sigh. I mean, yeah. it's not to say I didn't see this coming because they put the jailbreak out super early. What was it, uh, a month after Iowa State was released? Yeah, that it, it, was, came out? it was pretty fast. It was very, very, I think it was a couple days even before the month mark hit maybe, or maybe a couple days after, which is yeah. crazy. I mean, Usually, I don't really care. Uh, I'm not like super mad about it because I know that there's this is eight point we're already on eight point one. Um mm. I mean I know uh and we'll talk about this in a second how they're changing how they're gonna do that. But this is already on eight point one, everything's working fine and I'm jailbroken. If you if you hadn't already done it, if you haven't already updated and jailbroke to it, you, I mean I that's just laziness because of yeah. You had enough time. Also, apparently you can downgrade. Uh, yeah, for, there is a window. That was a great point to bring up that I forgot to put in the notes. Yeah. But yeah, you, as of, I believe, the time of recording this, which is gonna, it's uh, Friday, November 21st of 20, 
2014, around 5.30, you can still downgrade, I believe, which is kind of odd. Usually Apple closes the window hours after the new update comes out, but it, well, it's Well, like, weird. What, is that, what does that mean? Like, how are, how are you going to downgrade the same way you usually do? Oh, yeah, just download the 8.1 IPSW and then restore. No. <laughs> that, what? Wait, that, that means it had to update iTunes. What do you mean, update iTunes? I can go to a website and download any firmware. Yeah. Even if it's, yeah. Yeah. Why, why, how would they block it then? The how server did... side. Oh, wait. So on iTunes, it connects to the server to verify it. Yeah, you know how it always says ver- verify an iPhone restore? Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Mm-hmm. That makes sense. Yeah, okay. so if they, they if they don't have this little green light on their server that says 8.1 okay. iPhone 6 version being signed, um, then that you, you can't sense. downgrade. But now I believe you can. So if you are listening to this and you want to go back to 8.1 for whatever reason, Joe breaking problems with 8.1.1 i don't know i think you might still have a chance but do it as fast as you can because it's going to be a small window i'm sure they're going to close it eventually i would love wouldn't you just love it if apple left the windows open forever oh yeah i, I would I just would be love to just try to like take an iphone 5s and put it on ios 6 and see what happens yeah or yeah. something like that or even I would love to have an iPhone 5 and run that on iOS 6 and jailbreak iOS 6 on that yeah. just to do that for fun. Yeah, that would be just so fun just to be able to honestly do just go to any firmware like you try to run iOS 3. Yeah, I mean, that would be cool. Of course, we'd probably yeah. run into a lot of issues, but that'd still be cool if we had like yeah. complete control. But right. good old, good old Timmy old boy <laughs> running the command center says, no, yep. no, no restore for you. <laughs> no 8.1 for you. <laughs> Or it'd be yeah. more like, no, 8.1 for you. No. Well, here, Apple, <laughs> we don't think that's a good idea. We'd, uh, we'd rather have a closed operating <laughs> system. <laughs> anyway, moving on. There's actually something that's really good news if you are ex- if you are into jailbreaking. If you're not inter- into jailbreaking, you're listening to this. Apologies, we'll talk about something non jail break related in just a moment but i feel like it's important to cover it here on phone pod but i hate snow he's a very very <laughs> prominent member in the jailbreak community has already teased his jailbreak for 8.1.1 which is crazy because it just came out five days ago four days ago and he's already got a jailbreak yeah, that's pretty cool i mean i i really wish these people would be more vocal about what they if what they if they actually like try most of the time or just do it when they feel like it. Yeah, or, I know. I've I've heard that because pos- like why? What? Where'd you come from? You died. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, mean, I've but, heard everybody knows Pod Two G is one of the members of the Evaders, and he's been making jailbreaks for years. And I've heard he's lost interest in a uh, in jailbreaking iOS now. I mean, yeah, I can understand why. And I, I mean, I can't blame him, but at the same time, he's a vital, well, I guess until the Pangu team kind of stuck their head I in mean, the door. I, w- I would like, I mean, uh, in um, Jeff Bren- Benjamin in that podcast, they they, they had the interview with um, the leader of um, uh, Insanely I, or sorry, wait, what? Um, my, my. Mind my eye. I didn't say insanely eye. What are you talking about? Um, Easy to confuse. Um, he said that that um, the jailbreak community has never been more alive right now. Well, mm-hmm. I mean, it depends on how you want to look at it. Yeah. I'm not seeing... I I mean, uh, sure, there might be new stuff being released or mm, whatever. But, but all know. the stuff that... there's not, There's nothing to run that with. Winter Ward has not been, like, seriously updated since iOS, like, six. Like, six. Yeah. And nobody's going to, nobody's stepping up to replace that. Dreamboard tried to, but, like, like, but epically failed. Ultimately like, failed, yeah. Yeah. And just, like, nobody, it's not, nobody, there's not, like, all this new stuff coming out, like, 
it just seems to dwindle on my, I, I don't want to say that it seems to dwindle with every jailbreak. Maybe I'm just, stuff doesn't as impress me as much as it used to, but I want new stuff that, like, I don't want to tweak to fix one little, like, thing on my phone. Mm-hmm. I want something that that changes I, I, how my phone looks. Yeah. And that was totally. something that Winterboard has done, and I also like to use other tools with that, which just continue to disappear. Um, so. Yeah, I, I mean, jailbreaking is totally dependent on the people in the community. Yeah. Because people can make a jailbreak, but to the common user, I mean, you saw how the jailbreak was released. Yeah, you could jailbreak, but Cydia wasn't installed. Yeah. So it's, it's like, just like, we are totally dependent on Sarek, who does Winterboard, who does Cydia, on the Pangu team, or whoever's going to make the jailbreak. Yeah. I don't really care who makes the jailbreak as long as it's authentic and it's not too crazy. And, and I, I give, I give, I mean, even, I, I mean, I, I know that there's been a lot of work put into both of these, but I, I, right now I totally give a lot more credit to the Pangu team and the, the evaders. I mean, you said the evaders are kind of disbanding if pod two G doesn't really want to do that. But I mean, I, I really give a lot of credit to the Pangu team for coming out with the jailbreak that quickly. Oh yeah. I mean, and, and, and they did, they held up their end of the bargain. Now the other people need to hold up their mm. end of the bargain to the other side of that. That's not fair. Oh yeah. Totally. To do that. And I mean, just... everybody's got to play the part. I review the tweaks. You yeah. Use the tweaks. Yeah. Sarek should update a couple of his tweaks that he took great pride in, but now hasn't updated since iOS 6 or 5. Mm-hmm. Which kind of makes me upset because I bought, like, I want to say at least one Syntax, which adds contact pictures to the scroll view in the contacts app or phone app. And uh, mm-hmm. I bought that and it hasn't been updated since iOS 6, which kind of oh, disappoints right. me because it doesn't seem like it would be really that hard to create a tweak that puts another image in a place. Yeah. But I mean, I just, I just want I just want to be able to see my my UI, man. Oh yeah, and then we need some serious Winterboard updates, which I have a feeling he's working on because he's been almost deathly silent for the past couple oh, weeks. Really? Even on Reddit, I have not really seen him on any post of any kind. But then, of course, I'm, I don't read every point, every point, every post on Reddit, so he could be, be there. But waste, <laughs> waste. But I really hope he's working on a jailbreak. Not jailbreak. <laughs> hope he's working on it. I mean, that'd be great too. iOS eight point two, but which we'll talk about in just a moment. But I do hope that um, he's working on a winning board update. Hopefully, that'll come soon. We can only hope. So I, uh, yeah, that would be awesome. So I just got an email from Xbox. Yeah, what'd they say? You spent three hundred seventy four hours gaming on Xbox Live this year. <laughs> oh my! Really? Oh, I wonder if they're gonna send me an email. <laughs> that's a long oh my gosh that's a long and time and i've oh i've only gained 2640 gamer score this year oh, i need to i need to uh pick it up uh, yeah i need to pick it up i pick up the pace i've unlocked 131 achievements mine probably hasn't been very high i'm i'm in the that means your gamer score puts you in the top 25 percent of all xbox players i i don't i Oh, yeah, I guess. Or your friends. So, well, probably all Xbox. I don't know. It doesn't even specify. It just says your Xbox One gamer score is 2,640. And I'm, I'm assuming that's this year because I know I have 18,000 gamer score. I just saw it. Yeah. So I don't really know. Hmm. That's strange. Weird. Hmm. I hope I get my email. I want to know how, what percent I'm in. I'm probably in like. You're in the top 99 or 100% of all people who play <laughs> Xbox. <laughs> yeah, because you got one, like, less, like, at the end of, the, like, in August or something. The 360. Anyway. Well, oh, I got well, the 360 yeah, of, February yeah, the, of so, two years ago. I don't know why I wasn't thinking that counted. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. So... Anyway, something also new, just like that new email was iOS 8.2 beta 1. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it doesn't really add anything, spoiler alert. If you want to watch my video on it, well, as long along with anything else that we've talked about in the video that I've <laughs> covered or Jake's covered, um, I'll link it right down below in the show notes or description or 
whatever when you scroll down for, or tap on the podcast cover. But 8.2 Beta 1 came out and it added really nothing for the user. However, for developers, it added WatchKit. And this is huge because developers can now start making their apps, um, kind of designing them and making them for the Apple Watch, which yeah. is super exciting. Even though, and I said that in my video, even though we're not getting anything out of the deal right now, this is going to well, be pretty probably. awesome, I think. We are getting uh, something out of the idea from uh, from those cool tweaks that are mimicking, that are going to mimic the... Uh, uh, the Apple Watch UI, oh, UI. Home mm-hmm. screen. That that is something that that is something that like I really appreciate is that that's what I'm talking about, people. <laughs> um, but yeah, the that's pretty interesting. I always have I, this is weird, but I've always loved those little when they show the kits on stage. I'm like, ooh, those look like so oh the nice icons are awesome. On top of each other, I sh- I want to be able to view that somehow somewhere. I like I wish it was like a little kit thing on my springboard, and when I tapped it, when, like when I it like springed and when like and then it like opens up or something. I don't even know. <laughs> well, I I think I mean if you want to see the icons, I'm sure they're on. Like you can get the watch kit icon on developer.apple.com. I'm looking at it right, right now. I know it's just like I want to. I want it like I want a watch kit app. I I don't even know what it would do, but <laughs> dude, we should make an iWatch theme for Winter Ward. Oh, yeah, like like based off the oh, icons, with all the circle icons. Let's see. We went to apple.com. Slash apple. We're getting really off topic this time, so please excuse <laughs> us. But I'm having some great ideas here. <laughs> the icons look Our pretty idea. similar, but they're nobody's circular. ever thought about it for, before. Yeah. I don't know. It looks pretty nice. Just if people don't want to buy like an Apple Watch tweak. Yeah. Anyway, we can look into that later. And then you could uh, get like if you really wanted to make it look nicer, you could also use um, grid not gridlock um, iconoclasm and get like a layout. Yeah, definitely. Um, but yeah, that the. the iOS 8.2 beta, you said the last time they did that was in, like, iOS 5? Yeah, the last, uh, no, iOS 4. Oh, yeah, yeah, iOS 4. Yeah, there has not been a Wasn't point it, two. Didn't it get up to 4.3? Yes, there was a 4.3. I, yeah, it was I like looked... 4.3.1 or uh-huh. 2. Which is, yeah, that, I don't even remember. And I, I, I like it when it goes, just, I like it when they, they use that number, because why... Are they like even doing the the third number? There's really no point. Like I, yeah. I, like I understand that one might be a bigger update than the other one, but I mean, mm-hmm. it doesn't really matter that much. Um. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. But anyway, uh, I thought we'd talk about some cool games that have been coming out lately because I've been looking at yeah. the App Store just today, and there's so many. There's at least. I love. I love. The, I yeah. I looked at it too, and I saw that Five Nights at Freddy's Two is at the top. I'm like, yes. Yeah. It's interesting it's, I'm how it's the same price as the other game. Yeah, it's three bucks. Um, compatible with iPhone and iPad, so I mean, you're getting double. For yeah. the, for the same price, which I always love. That, I don't know if you're the same way, but. That plus well, makes I, a I, huge difference. I hate difference. when they separate those, uh, like an iPad version and an iPhone version. I hate that. Oh yeah, like that may that is a deal breaker for me because, for example, Kingdom Rush Three is on the App Store now, mm-hmm. which actually isn't on our list to talk about. But that is a separate app. It's like five dollars for iPad and three dollars for iPhone. Now, if it was five dollars wow. or even maybe six dollars for both, I would buy it in a heartbeat. Yeah, but I, I cannot. I, I, that's like way more of a marketing like. Good deal. I mean, I just yeah. don't understand why they thought it would be a good idea to. No, and they've uh, always been. Why like people that. think it's a good idea to do it like that? It it especially when that's. I mean, Apple made that, and that's a totally. That's one of the reasons I bought Five Nights. I bought it at school when I was on my iPhone, so I could start playing at them. But then I'm probably gonna play it seriously on my iPad. Right. For three bucks, and if it was separate three bucks, I would probably just get it on my iPad. But that plus totally influenced what I bought today, which. I just thought was I just wondered if you is, did the uh, same thing. Is Kingdom Rush is that little tower defense game you were playing that one time on your iPad? Um, Probably. We were uh, in your car. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. 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 Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a um, fun game. Yeah, yeah. That 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 is a fun game. 
But for those of you who don't know, Five Nights at Freddy's 2 is a terror horror game, scariest <laughs> game ever. However oh you want to put it's it. It's so awesome. I got you jump scared, dude. You see a Let's Play on that mm -hmm. starting soon. Uh, head over to the game base, which is uh, Sam's part, kind of like almost... Uh, what the same part of the gaming channel over there. I'm stumbling over my words today, and um, we will be doing a let's play in that. And Sam will be helping us all the way through. Yes, we will be doing all the nights. Said no, Sam ever. <laughs> but yeah, if you guys want to check our second channel out, head over to YouTube.com/slash/iGamingBase. I know it's a really cheesy name. I don't know why I made that as the URL. My apologies, but I mean it's better than what my URL is. It's good, so. not like XX. Snipes XX Great Gaming X, three sixty no. I mean, Jang, it's not like a Jenga double O seven. Yeah, double O seven. But definitely check uh, the second channel out if you guys are interested. We would really yeah. appreciate it. Sam does. Uh, yeah, we got videos up there. Like we have at least three videos a week. So. Yeah. So if you guys are looking for some pretty good gaming con con content, content. Uh, yeah. I mean, go check it yeah. out. Anyway, but yeah, another game I'd like to talk about is uh, Trivia Crack. Yeah, oh my gosh, I put quit. You put quiz, um, <laughs> you put quiz craft. <laughs> quiz craft. Oh my gosh, I don't I know like, how many times I've said Sam that. Sam have another quiz game that I don't like know about? Oh, oh wait, oh that's that Minecraft one. What? Right? Huh? No, I don't know. It's I another quiz game. That I I've seen I... people play, but it did not look as interesting to me. It was it, people played it during the summer. There's some type of Minecraft quiz game too. All right, I fixed it. That changed. <laughs> but yeah, everybody at our school's playing it. Not a like, soul is not playing it. Well, there's probably like that one guy, but yeah, like and it's it's funny how competitive it is and how oh, it's how nuts. like how like it's not like super hard. Well, it's hard, but it's not hard. Like you can guess and like get it right. One and, and four shot. Yeah, and then you can... Yeah, I, I really like that game. It's fun. I, it's, a, it's a ton of fun. It in between classes. It's funny. Yeah, I urge you if you guys download the game, find some friends, get them get them to play it because it and is I, so like much more Facebook fun. It's like a Facebook friends game so you can connect to Facebook. It actually drove us all back on the Facebook to friend each other. P plot yeah. twist. Facebook made the game in order to get more people to use Facebook. <laughs> 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 But uh, it, it is a fun game if you get it. Definitely get your friends to play it because it is so much more fun with friends. Just yeah. a little tip there. Next up is Crossy Road. I also discovered this game today. And it, it? the first screenshot I saw, it looked exactly like Frogger. You know how you got to like cross the road and jump on oh, the logs? Okay. Yeah. And that's exactly what this is. Only you're a chicken. And it's the graphics are phenomenal. They look so good and then you're just that you're this chicken and you either swipe to go left or right and then tap to go forward and just like for you have to jump on logs you have to dodge cars but i believe okay. it's endless maybe but you keep going you don't just stop like frogger it's really fun though yeah that um is it in the top charts yeah i want or it's on the main page of the app store i believe oh okay Sweet. There's some cool sound effects. <laughs> Crossy road, but yeah, listen to these. <laughs> oh, I just got hit by a car. Nope, never mind. Poor guy. Uh, anyway, <laughs> don't don't podcast in. Oh, I got hit by a car. And move chickens at the same time. Oh wow, this does look really nice. Yeah, the, it's seriously the graphics are it, really it's good. It's the lighting effects that make it look really nice. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I was very impressed by it. Plus, it's free too, which is. There's so many free games that are great now. Yeah. Back in the olden days on iOS. I guess iOS 3, 4, there was... I mean, there were free games, but there were a lot more paid games. Right, yeah. Because it was... I guess they really weren't ads. I mean, were there were there a ton... I don't remember ads being so huge on iOS 3, 4. Um... Yeah, like I had started to pop up and mm -hmm. stuff. And those, I, those I, I are when. I was on iOS 4. Or, yeah. Sorry, no, 5. Yeah, it was, it was on 5 pretty much. Mm -hmm. started I think that's when it launched, yeah. Um, 
But yeah, so the last thing, the other app you have here uh, is Vain Glory. I just, I just um, saw it in the App Store, and I'm looking at it right now. Yeah. So do you know what that's? Like League of Legends. Exactly, like League of Legends. Do you uh, do you know where that is from and where that got featured? I I feel like I've seen it somewhere. Yeah, it, the Apple actually demoed it at or not Apple, but the Vainglory Glory Super Evil Megacorp, as Phil Schiller commented, it was a great name for a company. They actually got to demo it on the iPhone six at the September twenty fourteen event. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that's uh, really? I knew the name, <laughs> and I believe it uses Metal and all the new technologies in iOS eight. Oh, cool. Good. And it runs. I mean, obviously, seamlessly on the... Was Metal an iOS 8 thing? Yeah, that's brand new in iOS 8. Oh, okay. That's another, like, kit that was on stage for... WWDC this year was crazy. It, there were so, so many yeah. new kits. There was, like, eight on the on the projector. Yeah, WWDC had a lot of stuff going on. It was, it was awesome, though. I liked it. iOS 8's great. Yeah. You're on iOS 8 now. Do you like it? Yeah, uh, I like it. I, I don't notice that. I mean, it's not that much of a difference for me. Yeah, I, I mean, it's not. I, I mean, what I have running right now really is just a little brother, and then I've got a trace pa- uh, page trace. What? Jake, are you still there? Um, where I've had to actually restart the phone because I just can't launch an app. An app. Sorry, can you repeat what happened? It cut out for a second. Oh, um, I, I, like, I have, it, it's pretty good, um, but, um, I do have some problems where it'll, it'll, like, glitch out where the page transition, like, will, like, really mess up, and then I've actually had to restart my phone because it just won't launch an app sometimes. Really? Yeah. Hmm. It's kind of odd. Yeah, but it, it's it works pretty good. I it, I think it happens when I lock the phone when it's um um in that orientation. But I do okay. really like the uh, text thing, even though I, I'm using like the medium thing and it's really small. Um. Oh yeah, on the five S. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, like the medium thing. I do really like that though, and I, I think it works very well. Uh. And this is Little Brother because it like it works with every app pretty much. And yeah, it, this it is a joke. Very, it does it very well too. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I actually turned it off, be, or I think I got rid of it because I was having a lot of bugs on really? my iPhone six. Yeah, it's not the like the best working thing ever. It, although it works a lot better than stuff have attempted to do this in the past. Mm-hmm. Oh, I, I mean, I'm not. This saying... has been around since iOS three and. It's come a long way, this uh, landscape mode thing. Yeah, I mean, I have... Uh, I just completely lost my train of thought. <laughs> oh, I was going to say, I'm, I'm surprised that it gets this kind of buggy deal thing because it's by Ryan Patrick, and he's, as you know, renowned for... Oh, yeah. ...for doing great stuff. But... Yeah, that's weird. I don't know, I'm just... I'm, I'm not going to lie, I'm a little disappointed that it is a... It's uh not working as well as I thought it would for a Ryan Petrick status yeah. like tweak. Yeah, so. definitely. I'm sure it'll be fixed. This is of course time sensitive as most of the things we talk about, but Yeah, I mean, is there anything else going on, Jake? Anything else you want to Um discuss? well, there's a lot of games coming out and oh, I know what to talk about. So guys, I want to build a hack and test. Oh, yeah. So he's <laughs> Are you are you 100% for sure? Well, I mean, <laughs> I'm going to. I feel bad asking for that, but my parent, my mom said that she was fine with uh, selling. I, I sell this computer. I, I I attempt to sell the old compact in the closet mm-hmm. too. Yeah. Uh, with your help, help market mark uh, marking marketing help, Sam. Sorry, my words just. My brain's fried, guys. I don't know what I'm even saying. It's Friday. With the help of the marketing of Sam, I feel like we could really sell these laptops. <laughs> hey, you guys want a signed laptop by Sam? Yeah. 
I'll, I'll get him to sign it. Hashtag 7K giveaway. <laughs> Actually, for those of you listening to the podcast, I think I will have a giveaway coming soon on the channel. So stay tuned for uh, some more info. Nice. Yeah, but I, I've been looking up all these hack and test things, what's compatible, Tony Max 86 stuff, their parts guide. It's mm. not, it is not very helpful unless you're going to build something over like a thousand dollars like they have like they have like two regular boards and then they have all these like gaming boards with like these gold heat sink things and <laughs> like it's just like okay i no i can't do that like mm -hmm. i'm i'm trying to get the best thing yeah at the best budget and so like it's adding up to seven hundred dollars that's what it's adding up to right now <sighs> I want wow. to get an i3 clocked at 3.4 gigahertz. Of course, it only has two cores. And okay. then uh, a graphics card, uh, the GTX 7, 750 Ti super clocked. Because apparently the, the regular version might not work for some reason. I don't understand why. But the problem is with the, the graphics cards with OSX is that the acceleration, like the... Because it, it, it can turbo boost. The graphics okay, card I like that. Turbo boost. Uh, and that has been known to not work sometimes all the way. But like this guy, I watched this video and it was working like super good for him. And I I want, I will use play other games on it. I know this is the dumbest thing, but I only play really Minecraft. And I want like, so it runs, his Minecraft was running at like 180 frames per second. <laughs> Wait, that's really fast. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Wait, then why? What do you mean it runs it? it? That's how fast it runs. Oh, on this computer you would get. Yes. Oh, I thought you were saying on your current computer. I'm like, damn, no. mine only runs at like twelve. Yeah, no, or I was 60 watching a video whatever. about this guy who had that. Uh, oh, okay. Graphics card. That I don't is know good what though. The CPU that's was. Good. I'm assuming it was not much faster than. If it was faster than mine, not by much, cause. But yeah, I, I used the Austin Evans build of the Mason, but just making it a Hackintosh version. Uh, okay. If that doesn't work, I'm just gonna install Windows on it. I mean, I, I will try my best, but no. that doesn't. I, 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 if that doesn't, if this doesn't work, it should work with everything I'm doing. No. Headphone <laughs> choosers. Um, uh, yeah, if I'm I mean, or 90, I'm, I'm 80, 80% 80 sure that it'll work. No, I need you to get a Mac. Okay. No, Sam, it costs $1,200. No, you don't need all those specs. Just get the $800 one. It's 700. We'll get, get that one. Cause that one sounds even better. <laughs> Sam, I need all the specs. No. <laughs> I need to Guys, we have probably had this. Sports we have probably had this debate at least twelve times now. Yeah, I know. And it gets funnier every time. <laughs> I need all the power. No, I need more power. That's a quote, I think. I I need. I, I we want. We want to try new stuff. We want to make a game eventually at one point. We want to do shorts on my channel. What did I say? Yeah, sure. It's uh, like, you know, uh, short films. comedic entertainment. Yes. So uh, we've got a lot of stuff planned for you guys in the future. Subscribe to all our other channels. <laughs> Subscribe to all the channels. Uh, <laughs> Give us yeah, all the, the subscribes. Based, like my Django. <laughs> and I update OS. I don't know. It's not that great. No, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there's this jump name I update OS. He thinks he's kind of good. Thinks he's cool, but you know, well, I'll take care of him. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for listening to this episode of the Fun Fun Pod. This has been a rough, <laughs> this has been a rough week. Just yeah. put it that way. Of the Phone Pod, if you guys enjoyed, please give us some feedback on iTunes. You can just go to the iTunes link to review this podcast, which I will leave linked also right down below in the show notes, where you guys yeah. can either tap on the album and the podcast app to view that or scroll down if you're using overcast or just view the description somehow and leave us a review we'd be more than happy to maybe even read them on the next episode we are oh, yeah. totally open to some critiquing but uh yeah definitely feel free to uh give us a review we actually got one 
Which I, I forgot oh, really? to tell you this, Jake. We got a review like um, in May sometime. Oh. And I was like, uh, enjoy the podcast. Thanks a lot. And I was – so if you oh, left I- that review on iTunes, sorry we didn't see it till now. I completely forgot <laughs> about – reviews on itunes yeah, so subscribe and he's like they didn't, they didn't respond i'm never listening again but uh yeah if you're still listening to this we sincerely appreciate it and uh thank you guys yeah um it's really like i just love to listen to podcasts on the car to the way to school like, yeah as do i so the podcast app is the best well listening Arguably. to podcasts on your phone is the best way to do it yeah or, you know, whatever app you enjoy to do it on <clears throat> overcast um <laughs> <laughs> I don't I I don't know. I should learn more about those. But uh yeah. Yeah. It's up to you of course. Uh anyway guys, thanks again. And we'll see you guys later. See ya.